Hello, it's Alex and welcome to Hey Little Thrifter. I'm back with another Nightmare Queens video where I talk about vintage horror written by women and today I'm going to be talking about Victoria by Ruby Jean Jensen. Victoria by Ruby Jean Jensen was originally published in 1990 and this particular edition is a recent reissue. All of her books are currently being reprinted. Victoria is a creepy doll story and it's about a woman called Fawn. She had left home as a teenager and is estranged from her family who is mainly her sister and her grandfather who raised them after their parents died. Fawn is now in her 30s and she has two children of her own and she hears that her grandfather is on his deathbed so she decides to finally return to her childhood home to see him before he dies. Unfortunately she gets there too late and he's already passed away but she reconnects with her sister after all of these years and she decides that she and her two kids will stay there for the time being. Fawn's sister has three children, so there are the two sisters and their five combined children, and there's also Martha, who is like the live-in housekeeper and has been living with their grandfather for quite a number of years, and she stays on in the house to carry on her regular duties for the family. The kids one day find an old trunk that's been put out on the street to be picked up with the rubbish and they open it up and find this antique doll and they bring it in and the adults wonder what on earth is going on, why has this antique doll been put out to be thrown away? And the housekeeper Martha says that the grandfather told her specifically to get rid of the trunk, to never open it, to just make sure it's disposed of. And they're all really confused because their grandfather was a big collector of antiques and he actually had an identical doll to this one on display in his collection. So they can't understand why on earth the grandfather would have wanted to get rid of this beautiful doll and they decide to keep it. And that's when the accidents start to happen. So what is the story behind this doll? And could it be connected to the string of tragedies that the family is dealing with? This was a really good story, I enjoyed it. There are definitely some good creepy moments involving the doll. And we also get a lot of backstory about these two identical dolls and a backstory to the family. Uh, I really liked that in particular, I thought that was really well done. There is some really good suspense and there are some good, a little more violent moments involving this doll and the things that it does to various members of the family. There's also an interesting element where, without giving any major spoilers, one of the members of the family ends up in a coma in hospital and they end up having these out-of-body experiences and that's the way that some of this backstory is told. So I thought that was a really interesting way of doing that rather than it being like just your general flashback or something. I enjoyed this one overall, I rated it three and a half stars out of five. I think I would have rated it higher, but a lot of the story hinges on poor decision making on the characters' parts, and unfortunately that, yeah, just kind of brought down my overall enjoyment of the book a bit. You know, basically if the doll had been destroyed in the first place, none of this book would have happened. <laughs> um, but even then, if they had ignored the grandfather's wishes. There were also other moments in the book where if people had done things slightly differently 
again, they wouldn't be in the same situation they're finding themselves in. But that aside, it was still an enjoyable read. Like I said, it had some good creepy moments, some good suspense, and also some emotional moments uh, involving the family and the tragedies that they are dealing with. It also had a pretty crazy climax, which was really fun. So yeah, there were definitely a lot of things to enjoy about this book and I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for a good creepy doll story. So those were my thoughts on Victoria by Ruby Jean Jensen. Let me know if you've read this one. I would love to hear what you thought. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.